Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be removing the radiator from this uh, Daihatsu 4 track because I'm meaning to take the engine and the gearbox out and put it into like a homemade tractor slash go-kart slash buggy whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was just thinking I'll take it out of this because it's mostly part. The uh, one that's sitting over there is stripped anyway. Uh, I'm a bit worried about this turbo because the, yeah, I had to change the battery. Uh, yeah, I'm worried about this turbo because the inlet pipe is off uh, and the bonnet's been unopened for a few months and it's been like this. So it looks like it should be okay, uh, but I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to be putting uh, the intercooler on. Well, actually, I don't know. I might do. This is a different intercooler uh, than the one on that one, I think. Uh, this is a newer model, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I might be putting it on, uh, but I don't know. I want to keep it really simple. I w I'm not even fussed about not having turbo because it's going to be so lightweight. Uh, it'll be fine naturally aspirated. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to take this radi radiator out. It looks quite tidy, tidier than my one. Oh, actually, the intercooler is right here. That's actually a really good place to have it. I, I was thinking it was behind, um, down more, but no, it's just the same place. That's quite direct, actually. That's good. Anyway, uh, that one's uh, radiator is in way better condition than this one, if you can see. It's got a lot of shred marks in it. It's never been patched or anything. So that actually makes me want to put this radiator in the buggy. Because this needs more airflow because it works harder, uh, it needs to be cooled more. So, because that'll ha that vehicle will be way really lightweight. So, yeah, I might if I get a load of time because I'm going to redo this thing anyway. Uh, the brakes, the front brake, uh, one of the front brake lines burst metal ones, I'm guessing. Uh, so it's got no brakes now. It has a bit of a handbrake. I need to tighten it, uh, but. That's not, it's not really safe to drive anymore. Uh, it was bad enough without back brakes. Uh, and it's off. Uh, I'm not using it at the moment anyway, because Dad took my battery to put on an electric fence. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed uh, putting a new battery box in, because the old one broke here and here. So whenever I went over a jump or something, or a bump, I mean, a uh, battery went on the engine. I, ca I can't find a metal thing to go over it. I could use string or something. So yeah, I stole, I know I'm getting sidetracked, I stole it from this one. Radiating this one, I thought it was, oh, the cap's gone, uh, but it should be good enough. Intercooler's still there. Yeah, this engine's been stripped for parts. Well, this whole thing's been stripped for parts, actually. Um, this thing has, oh, still got wheels down there. That could be handy. I collect all these wheels. Uh, but yeah, this... I'm, I'm going to take the bumper off and maybe the front grille. But it's a slightly different, more faded maybe, but it's got less dings in it. I don't know. Can't make my mind up. I uh, might need repainting. Anyway, I'm getting off track. This is not being used at the moment because I'm going to... Do all the brakes, not just the front ones. Uh, the lines, the bricks and the shoes are fine. Uh, metal for the backs on the way. I think I'm just going to patch this like I can. Uh, the back arches and the sills are in the shed with me. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, got some... I couldn't find the correct fuel lines for, uh, for this. There's a water pipe leaking somewhere over there uh but i found some washer windscreen washer fluid pipes and they've been on for about a week now and i've been running it a few times and they're quite solid they're not expanding especially that in inlet one that's proper solid so i think that's what they used before i think it got done before uh but yeah that's good now ready to go back to the owner the uh Bits are up there. There's too many rotivators in the way. Right, so here are everything. I'm not sure you can quite. Hang on. 
maybe open it up a bit. Okay, I haven't seen them in quite a bit. They haven't rusted at all, so that's good from all the moisture. But yeah, there they are. So now I've proved to you lot that I have got some panels for it. So it looked good on the outside, uh, but sheet metal's on the way for the inside. I think three meter, three meter square. Uh, I hope that's enough. Uh, but I'm gonna do under the seat, back seat first, so I can put that back in. Uh, the bit over the tank can stay a bit for a bit longer because I need to do the uh, sensor float. I don't know for the tank because the gauge isn't working. It shows that it's full all the time. It might just be stuck. I don't know. Uh, Husqvarna, I've got a all right paying job now, so for a bit because the uh, lambing's on. So, uh, I could probably buy a starter motor for this now. About 90 quid for a brand new one. I might as well get a brand new one. Look at that exhaust. God, this is probably the loudest thing on the farm. Even though it's only a one cylinder, it's stupid loud. So yeah, that's going to be fun once I get that going. Right, now back to this. Uh, I, don't, I think this is done for this air horn. Uh, so I'm not going to bother with that. I got a nice big chrome one. Anyway, uh, that fan's a bit snapped. It still would be good enough, uh, but it's only lost one. But I, I hopefully there's a whole one on the scrap one. Uh, right, so there's two there and two on this side. Oh, actually, only one on this side, so that's interesting. Someone's fiddled with it already. And then I need to take the pipes out, and then I'll cut to when I'm lifting it out. Right, there was only actually the two top bolts still holding it in. A little tip, uh, if you're not going to do anything with it straight away, I recommend putting the uh, nuts and bolts either back in the hole or back in the, uh, in the part uh, so you don't lose them. I tend to put the nuts right on the end of the thread so you can get get them off easily uh, and and put put them on easily. You can clean up clean up the thread behind it quite easily then as well. Uh anyway, this kind of beaded onto that so I, I used a screwdriver to slowly pry it off all the way around. Uh so that's good. The bottom one is still on. So I think I'm gonna pull it up. Uh so then I can get easy access to that pipe if it's willing to come up with the radiator. So I'm going to do that now. Right. It's cold, so I'm wearing my jacket. It's a bit chilly. It's not really windy. Right, I don't want to dodge it. I don't know if there's any down the bottom either. In the bolts. It doesn't feel like it. Put any holes in it. Ooh. I think there's a hole in the uh, in the pipe somewhere. Hopefully not in the radiator. Nope, it's in the pipe. Look at this. This is actually a really tidy radiator. Got no damage on it. It's leaking. Looks like it's coming from the engine. Something. Oh yeah, I think because I'm squeezing on the pipe and lifting it up, it's coming out of uh, the top. Or somewhere. I don't know. Hopefully there's no head gasket issue. Sounds like it's flowing quite quickly. Definitely there's a lot coming out. Oh! See that there? Coming out through there. 
don't know what that is exactly. Hmm, interesting. Uh, not really worried about it right now. Uh, I should really like cap off any holes, uh, but I'm not. I'm not really desperate to get this done. Uh, I'm not like end of the world if this, if this engine goes. I don't know if it's any good anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this pipe off. Place for me. Why is that in there? Strange. The sixteen of it. I don't think it's very important. It doesn't actually damage anything. Right. Well, I put it down so I don't <coughs> break anything. In a way that I don't break anything. There we go. That's good enough. And get that off. Let's say it's eight. Seven. So we've got the all different sizes. Right. I just don't know how easy this is going to come off. have a problem. Hacksaw, will that work? I don't know. It's definitely rounded off. Because it's rusty. I could just cut the pipe, the line, and then deal with that later. Right, I'm going to get a hacksaw. Right, I've got a hacksaw. Really, I need to get my own I need to get a grinder. It's quite a small hacksaw. I don't like using hacksaw for cutting uh, metal. Before anything else, and I'm willing to do it. <laughs> anyway, that's weird. My camera keeps turning off. I don't know how much of that you saw, but I'm probably gonna get new pipes. Uh, so that doesn't matter much. It's actually a really tiny radiator. It's got no damage on it. Nope, that is clean. I don't know how, like, actually clean it is on inside, but it still has a cap, so that's good. We could still flush it out as much as we can. That is tidy. But yeah, about the camera, I am thinking about investing in the GoPro because uh, this one's quite old. It says 4K on it. Uh, 4K 30fps. I got it on 1080 60 right now. Uh, sorry if it looks pretty bad on on uh, computer, but I, and TV, but it doesn't look great on 4K. So that's why I'm thinking about getting a GoPro. It's expensive, but there we go. Uh, this is a old ape ape man camera. It it doesn't even make a sound if it turns off. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting a disc instead of. Uh, loads of disk hard drives instead of uh, digital ones because digital uh, needs charge in a way uh, to keep the memory over lots and lots of time but disk can store for ages without being plugged in so more reliable uh, for long term storage the dog is trying to find a rabbit wait <laughs> it just looks up casually anyway so yeah there we go uh, I'll get this this and that's it i think yeah this and that off now and i'll see you when everything's a bit tidier so uh, we can take the engine gearbox out i don't know when we can do it uh but um, that's all i'm gonna do for now I, that skid plate should i put it on my one i don't think i will because it's no it's a bit low won't look as good either so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Just open this space up so we have plenty of room to pull it out this way. Because the gearbox is a bit long. Longer than the engine. So let's go on with that. And 
Voila! The, the, the latch is still on it, but it's out of the way enough. Uh, don't want to break the headlight glass just in case I'll need it one day. That's a lot more open. It's actually quite easy to do that. I thought it was a huge job. Right. Next job, tidy all of this up. I believe this is a battery clamp. Now oh, the bonnet's on closed. So, I think it's a battery clamp anyway. Yeah, it must be. I'm not sure if that's a bit too small. So, I'll put that that side. As you can see, I've got a big pile over here. Uh, make sure the air filter box is kind of more facing downwards. Uh, loads of bolts there. Little bits and bobs. Uh, I'll make sure that cover's facing down as well. And uh, the hole is facing downwards. God damn it, the camera turned off on me again. I don't know when it did it. Yep, time to have a new camera, I'd say this one's, I thought it was the batteries, but no, it's it's the camera itself. And I haven't fiddled with any of the settings, so. These belts are still good, look at them. Look how clean they are. Actually, that's a power steering belt, I might put it back on that one, because I'm not sure if I got the right belt, that's why it's so slack, or if the adjuster's a bit stiff. I think it's a belt, so. Gonna, gonna nick that. So yeah, all this is tidy now, I don't know if we're actually gonna be... Uh, if hopefully we will be taking it out and uh, continuing with this idea of mine uh, I'm gonna be sitting in the front hopefully like in the middle of the vehicle so a bit like a tractor need a new fan obviously but yeah I have high hopes for this I've done quite a bit now so it wasn't actually a big job to tidy it up uh, obviously loads of things to disconnect as I said but yeah thank you so much for watching the video and uh, I'll see you next time Bye.